Introducing OKTurtles, a browser extension that makes secure communication simple and ubiquitous. OKTurtles OK uses an authentication mechanism called DNS Chain, a hybrid DNS HTTP server that fixes one of the oldest security backdoors in the internet. Together, they make man-in-the-middle free communication possible for everyone. What is a man-in-the-middle? A man-in-the-middle is someone on the network who is between you and the server you're connecting to. And a man-in-the-middle attack is when they spy on your connection, tamper with it, or reroute it to some entirely different place. You might ask, doesn't HTTPS protect against this? And the answer is sometimes, but not always, and not from everyone. HTTPS relies on CAs or certificate authorities to verify connections. There are over a thousand such CAs out there. The security of the entire internet depends on the least trustworthy of these entities. Here's how it works. The attacker, usually the government, forces a certificate authority to issue a certificate for the website they're attacking. Hackers can do this as well by hacking the CA or the website you're visiting. The browser checks the connection, it sees that it's issued by one of the many CAs out there, and declares it secure. This system used to be the only option we had, and you'd have to pay a yearly subscription fee for this broken protection. Now there's an alternative called DNS Chain. DNS Chain doesn't rely on untrustworthy third parties, is completely free, prevents many types of internet censorship, and it actually stops man-in-the-middle attacks. On to the demo. DNS Chain gives its users secure access to all of the information stored in any blockchain it supports. Currently, Namecoin is supported, and to guarantee the authenticity of the replies from DNS Chain, you only need two bits of information, the server's IP address and its public key fingerprint. For this demo, I'll copy the IP of one of the public DNS, serv DNS Chain servers and update my DNS settings. But you should use either your own server or a trustworthy friend's. Now we can access namecoins.bit.tld, and we also have access to DNS chains.dns meta.tld. A meta.tld resolves to the server that you're connected to, and .dns lets us retrieve blockchain data as JSON. This is useful for the OKTurtles OK extension, because extensions often aren't able to query DNS directly, so instead we can use HTTP. Another DNS chain feature comes from the unblock.us project. When enabled, the DNS chain server will tunnel censored websites, and only those through the DNS chain server. It's completely transparent, and unlike Tor and VPNs, it doesn't affect browsing, gaming, and other activities. Now on to the OKTurtles OK demo. Here I have an alpha version of the extension installed in Firefox. OKTurtles OK detects text areas on web pages and lets you switch them into a secure input, input mode. This is just a proof of concept GUI and is not what the final version will look like, but the idea will be similar. In the background, OKTurtles OK queries DNS chain to securely obtain the public key of the person you're talking to, eliminating the need to verify key fingerprints and allowing users to not even have to think about keys very much. OKTurtles OK uses a plugin architecture to support specific websites, and it also has a generic mode where it can secure text areas on arbitrary websites like GitHub. Thanks for watching. We'll end with a picture of Aaron Schwartz, who inspired this project, wearing a Turtles t-shirt.